Today we'll talk about how CPHQ is changing and how it's going to affect you and your preparation for the exam. Let's get to the topic. We always hear in our learning that there is nothing permanent except change. Yes, that's right. Recently, CPHQ has decided to reveal the change in their CPHQ exam as well, and that's because they have conducted three to five people. So that's because they have conducted uh, job task analysis, which they usually do every three to five years. This is to maintain the significance of CPHQ and to comply with the living environment of healthcare quality all around the world. Basically, this survey, what exactly this survey is, affects every field where the CPHQ is applicable around the healthcare and comes up with, with, the, with the ideas where there are some changes required in CPHQ exam and then they implement the same uh, based on the exam. Uh, in the current version, what they have of the overlaps in different topics, and they have added specifically the population health topics, and they have made the exam aligned with healthcare quality competence framework, which they updated with the population health and care transition, which you can see here on the slide. There are other topics, including patient safety, health analytics quality review and accountability professional engagement and others as well when we talk about the changes in the, in the exam content here it's very important to mention that there is no changes in the eligibility criteria which remains unchanged so if you were eligible previously you are still eligible and prepare and get to the exam important to discuss here is what exactly we need to have for the preparation according to the updated version of the exam. So as per NHQ, Q solution specifically fifth edition would be the perfect reference for you. And if one of you or if anyone of you have purchased any of the NHQ courses, get it converted to updated version for free just right now. If it's not out of it, automatically converted for you. So as we can see in the updated outline. And the third column is the population health and care transition where they have added 11 questions and don't think that with this addition of 11 questions there is increased number of questions in, in the overall test. No, it remains the same 125 with 15 pre-test questions which are unmarked which you will not get uh, any mark for that. So you can see a total of 120 questions which are marked which you will get to pass, which is up most of the time is 70%, and there will be 15 pre-test questions. We will not be notified about these pre-test questions, and you will get 140 questions in 180 minutes. This is all about my aim. You need to comply with the test environment. Be sure you have practice every time you do study for the CPHQ exam because practice makes you perfect and this environment matters. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, you are confused, please write in the comment and we'll get back to you in a detailed manner. Thank you very much for your being.